Well, I'm back on the most famous farm in Buffalo County today, the Gillette 330. This is a fantastic example of a Boone and Crockett farm with so many features, it's hard to mention. But today, we're gonna dial in on one feature that is important to the huntability of this farm, and that is the military crest. So let's talk about how to identify a military crest. Well, a military crest is a term that we use commonly in the military, and it's just a great train feature to set up a defensive uh, position because not only do you have access and visibility down, but nothing can come from the top without you hearing it, or in the case of a deer, smelling you. Um, if you look at uh, train uh, topography maps, you'll find these locations where a flat top drops quickly off and the train changes and then it drops quickly into a valley. That point where the top starts to gradually and then aggressively drop off is where you will find trails. That is the military crest. On this farm, why that's so important is we have great access coming west with the wind in our face, and then we could turn 90 degrees and access perpendicular right to that military crest, thereby diminishing or minimizing any point of contact. There's only one point of contact that a deer could scent you. So that's the feature, and we're gonna take a look at that, and I'm gonna show you a great example of a military crest and how to find them yourself. Well, almost immediately upon getting inside these conifers, I came across this trail. <laughs> and this is not staged, I actually came across this just on happenstance, but it's a perfect example. These deer are using this military crest, which I'm about to show you, and then them, they themselves are turning turn perpendicular, coming up on this ridge, and they're probably bedding in the flat above. These are very predictable patterns, I'm sure. There's a lot of traffic here, just due to this heaviness of this trail. But let's get down in the timber and see if we find that military crest trail that we're talking about. I've just reached the military crest. It's just beginning to drop off here. I don't know if the camera picks it very much uh, uh, up very well, but it's dropping off at about a 15 degree slope. And sure enough, here's the first trail right here. It's very faint, but it's definitely there. And then maybe 30 yards here, it gets really aggressive and drops off. We're gonna get down in here, but I'll guarantee you there's another secondary trail and even a third trail right on that edge. Just a great example of a military crest. That's a nice one. You know, I'm following this terrain feature, this military crest, and just as I suspected, I found a nice rub. And there are a number of trails all along. There's about three or four and they're all paralleling the top of this ridge. As a hunter, this would be a fantastic setup because with a west wind, my scent is really blowing parallel to this trail. And with morning thermals rising as the morning sun warms this ridge top, my scent would be blowing up and out. I can access along the top, I can do a 90 degree turn, I could come in and I could set up at any number of one of these trees all the way up and down this ridge. It's a very predictable pattern. And if I walked around here, I'm sure I'll find dozens of these rubs because literally I can see six of them or so from right where I'm sitting. So you know this has got a lot of deer traffic, a lot of buck traffic, and it's just a great ambush site. Can you imagine setting up on this in the rut, sneaking in quietly, finding a, a, a nice tree, your scent is taken care of. One arrow can cover three trails. It's just a great ambush spot. I'm right at that point where the crest flattens and drops off and then drops off aggressively and that's where you're going to find this feature. So these features are very predictable. You can find them on almost any farm where it has some topography and it's something you should definitely key in. I hope you've enjoyed this tip and if you like to hear more of this type of topics, these bugs are going me crazy. <laughs> if you want to hear more of these topics and hit that subscribe button, get notified when they come up and I'd really appreciate you as a follower. Uh, if you send me some comments or questions, I'll be try I'll do my best to answer them. And as always, guys, I really appreciate you watching this. Hey, I'm Neil Hogger, and I'm a land specialist with Whitetail Properties Real Estate. I'm in Buffalo County on the fantastic Buffalo County 330, and you're watching the American Landman.